Hello everyone today, we know about Kailash so let's see. Mount Kailash is a mountain in Angari Prefecture. Tibet Autonomous Region of China, it lies in the Kailash Range of the Trans Himalaya, in the western part of the Tibetan Plateau. Mount Kailash is less than 100 kilometers, 62 miles north of the western tri-junction of the borders of China, India, and Nepal. Mount Kailash is located close to Lake Manasarovar and Lake Rakshastal. The sources of four major Asian rivers lie close to this mountain and the two lakes. These rivers are the Indus, the Sutle, the Brahmaputra, and the Karnalia tributary of the Ganges, fed by Navya Zangba. Many pilgrims from India, Tibet, Nepal, and other countries journey to venerate the mountain. The region around Mount Kailash and the Indus Headwaters area is typified by wide-scale faulting of metamorphous Lake Cretaceous to mid-Cenozoic sedimentary rocks, which have been intruded by Ignea Cenozoic. Mount Kailash appears to be a metasedimentary roof, pendant supported by a massive granite base. The Cenozoic rocks represent offshore marine limestones deposited. Before subduction of the Tethys oceanic crust, these sediments were deposited on the southern margin of the Asia block during subduction O. In Hinduism, the mountain is traditionally recognized as the abode of Shiva, who resides there along with his consort goddess Parvati and their children, Ganesha and Kartikeya. In the Atara Kanda section of the epic Ramayana, it is said that Ravana attempted to uproot the Mount Kailash as retaliation against Shiva, who in turn pressed his right big toe upon the mountain, trapping Ravana in between. This representation of Shiva is also referred to as Ravana Nugraha. According to the epic Mahabharata, it is said that the Pandava brothers, along with their wife Draupadi, trekked to the summit of Mount Kailash on their path to liberation, as it is considered to be a gateway to the heaven of the Devas. One description in the Vishnu Purana of the mountain states that its four faces are made of crystal, ruby, gold, and lapis lazuli. It is a pillar of the world and is located at the heart of six mountain ranges symbolizing a lotus. The Vishnu Purana talks about Shiva sitting in a lotus position. According to Jain scriptures, Ashtapada is the site where the first Jain Tirthankara, Rishabhanatha, attained moksha liberation in Jain tradition. It is believed that after Rishabhantha attained Nirvana, his son Emperor Bharata had constructed three stupas and twenty four shrines of the twenty for Tirthang. In Jain tradition, the twenty fourth and last Tirthankara, Mahavira, was taken to the summit of Meru by Indra shortly after his birth. After putting his mother queen Trishala into deep slumber, there he was bathed and anointed with precious unctions. Mount Kailash Kailasa is known as Mount Meru in Buddhist. That's all. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.